Welcome to the lesson showing you how to open up multiple hyperterminal windows. We're going to do a Google search on Putty, P-U-T-T-Y. That's a utility, it's free, you can download off the internet and it will act like a terminal, but it's a far more advanced version. There might be a few download links, I found one here on putty.org. And there's a download link there for Putty, so I'll just click on the download link. That that will take me to the correct Putty website. You just want to scroll down. You can have a read about what it does if you wish. And what you want to do is find the correct release for your operating system. So for most of you, it'll be this top one, Windows 95 up to Windows Vista. And you just click on putty.exe. And then whichever file system you're using to download, you may have a window that's the same as my Firefox window, otherwise it might be different with Internet Explorer. Once you've downloaded it, you install Putty onto your PC and I'm sure you can work out how to do that. Alright, so you've installed Putty on your PC and you've logged into your racks.howtonetwork account and what you want to do is start a session. So we've got the diagram of the basic rack here and if you hover over the router you can see an IP address and port number in the bottom left of your browser. So I'm going to open up Putty which I've installed previously and what we want to do is click on the Telnet box in Putty and we want to put in the IP address of this device and also there'll be a port number in the port box and in this instance it's 20001. So this will let us open one window using Putty on, on that router. Click on open and all things being equal it should open up a Putty window. Sometimes it inserts an extra character into your username so if that happens just press enter twice and then enter your username and password. It should only challenge you once and then the rack will log your IP address wherever you are working from and let you log into the other devices. Press return, give the router a few minutes or a few seconds, sorry, to boot up and you're you're on router one here. So you can just uh, type in a couple of commands just to check you're on the correct router and then give it the name, hostname router one. So when you're clicking on all the devices, you, you know which one you're configuring. We're going to open up a second window. So open up a second putty box, have the session box open in the top left window. I want you to type in the IP address and the port number in the in the in the port box. So it's the same as before we're just opening up a window on a different port and each port maps to a different device on the rack. And you can open up as many windows as you wish. You can stick with one window or or, or open multiple windows. So I recommend you do that. 